for this specific trip, it's always the same. It doesn't matter what the rockfish trip is. It's when you pick a spot, you hop in the water, you're full of excitement and anticipation, and then you land in a fish name. Take a moment to look up and just take it all in and see where am I gonna head, what am I gonna do, and what fish are there. So many fish, so many species, so many sizes, beautiful habitat, encrusting organisms everywhere and by the time you look up from writing your name on the data sheet you're surrounded and that's just so full of excitement. Uh, that's always the best feeling. That's why we're out here doing this is to, to have those dives. This is the best job in the world so far beyond just getting done. Well, I'm really excited about this project because it's it's used towards management. Counts of fish, epic boldies, epic dive, shell hash, barnacle hash. I've seen more tiger rockfish in this trip than all of our other trips. Wolf eels. We've probably seen more octopus in this three week trip than we have in any of our other surveys combined. It's crazy. The, the sheer number of octopus and wolf eels like on every other dive we're seeing, seeing stuff that we used to get insanely hyped about and it's just out here in numbers that you, you wouldn't see anywhere else. I, I think you see you see these species on the way down and your brain just just turns on. It's like, oh, I, I, I see these guys and I know there's fish down here. I might not be right on the, the, the money spot, but like just around the corner, like I'm, I'm gonna find something. Just generally being surprised. I feel like it's every little bay is different out here. The difference between like a back bay and a fjord and an outer reef are just night and day. They're like, it's not the same. Different species, different bottom composition, the water's different, different salinity, different temperatures. It's like every dive is completely different. It's just so incredible to find out how many different things are out there. Um, so much is known, but there's also so much that's unknown. So I guess for me, it would be just discovering these things that aren't necessarily, we don't know about. You'd think that everything's been seen out there, but it hasn't, and that's really cool. We got to dive a lot of sites that I've been looking at for the last three years, and I've been dreaming of diving those spots. Every one of these trips, Tristan gets real hyped to do an outer reef, and it looks like a pretty nice day, and then you're on the boat for an hour and a half in the swell, and you've been playing on your phone, and then you look up and you don't feel very good anymore. The diving aspect of it, of 
deep water, dark water, limited bottom time, keeping track of air consumption, juggling multiple surveys, high swell, high current, uh, high energy. You need a crew that can get in the water, focus, be safe, and still get things done and keep you safe. You need to know they have your back. And, uh, you need to know that they aren't going to freak out, there aren't going to be any issues, they're going to have their, their diving dialed, their surveys dialed, their gear's going to be dialed, because uh, without those things, the whole thing just falls apart.